Hey guys, in this episode I'll be featuring two sensational vintage magazines from the 70s that you don't want to miss and it's coming right up. Hey guys, what's up? Charles Damiano back from the Bruce Lee Collection for another exciting episode of Bruce Lee Show and Tell. For those of you who are new to the channel, if you don't know, every week I feature different Bruce Lee items from my collection. We have featured on the show numerous collectors from around the world and they share their collections with us. And there's times where we actually feature top 10 collectibles in collectors' collections from around the world. We focused on top 10 Green Hornet collectibles, top 10 figures, top 10 Bruce Lee DVDs, top 10 magazines, and the list goes on and on and on. And in this episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you two magazines that's been in my collection from as early as 1974. So one of them's over 45 years old. It's not in the best of condition. I've just taken it out of the plastic bag so you don't see any glare in it as I go over it with you. And again, it was produced by the editors and publishers of Kung Fu Monthly Magazines. And they've put out a series of magazines in the UK. I believe there's 70 plus issues in that set. And then in the United States, they also put out Kung Fu Monthly Poster Magazines 1 through 32. I have both in my collection. But they also put out these supplemental issues, which today I'm gonna share with you and discuss. This first one, is just phenomenal and I know a lot of the collectors on this show have featured this as their number one collectible in their collection. That's how phenomenal this magazine is. It's a giant magazine, it's oversized. Mine's not in the best condition. I believe I may have a second one somewhere in my collection but I couldn't find it so I pulled this one out for now. Came out in 1974, it was published in the United Kingdom. It's called the Giant Bruce Lee Scrapbook and it's packed with incredible photographs of Bruce Lee. There's color posters inside. It says the ultimate Bruce Lee souvenir book. And it's just simply phenomenal. It also has a beautiful picture of Bruce in the back from Enter the Dragon, as you can see him posing there uh, in the mirror scene. Uh from the inscrutable Han. of Enter the Dragon. And I'm gonna try to flip through some of the book with you. It's kind of very clumsy and it's very delicate because it's, like I said, it's 46 years old. So let's see if we can open up so you guys can get a chance to see a few of these uh, beautiful photos in here. So this one is a full spread of Bruce in a picture, uh, a tutorial of facial expressions as we, and as we know, he had a lot of different facial expressions. And that's one picture. Another one I wanna show you, let me just actually flip through the book a second and get to some really good shots of Lee. Uh, and then, uh, this is a beauty. So here goes a picture of Bruce Lee and Enter the Dragon, full shot with his Kung Fu Gi on. And over here you see a couple of side uh, shots, him throwing a sidekick. Here he is uh, with the famous lying picture behind him in his office in Hong Kong and a shot here from Fist of Fury. And again, as we flip through this magazine, uh, you get to the centerfold, and the centerfold is simply fantastic. Let me see if I can hold this up for you guys. This is a full centerfold spread of Bruce from uh, Enter the Dragon uh, in that famous pose uh, by the wheel uh, after his battle with Han. He just hits that classic Bruce Lee pose from Enter the Dragon. So again, this is just a phenomenal shot of Bruce Lee in this beautiful giant size poster magazine. And a few other shots, uh, here's a beautiful rare shot of Bruce Lee with a uh, famous Asian actress and there's Bruce with his uh, famous tank top on which shows the star which you've seen him featured uh, on a lot of the uh, Hong Kong shows where he came out in the tank top and the blue pants and this was probably a photo shoot after the scenes where he was on Hong Kong TV. And if you flip through a few more pictures of Bruce, here he is in full spread. Uh, again, here's some more shots of Bruce Lee. Again, it's a little hard to thumb through because the pages are so large. Here he is with his funeral. Uh, a couple more pictures of Bruce. Again, you can see the yellowing on the pages of this magazine because it's so old. And then there's a beautiful back 
a picture of Bruce Lee from uh, Enter the Dragon. And again, like I said, it's just a very delicate magazine. It's very hard to thumb through, but the cover is phenomenal. Let me know what you think of this magazine. Let me know if you have it in your collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed me thumbing through it. Uh, I'm gonna show you the second volume that came out, this beautiful magazine. It's not a giant scrapbook, but it's called The Second Sensational Bruce Lee Scrapbook. It's a smaller version. It's eight and a half by 11. Uh, rather than the giant size. And again, this is uh, says the second smash volume collector's exclusive. Again, beautiful cover of Bruce uh, from Enter the Dragon as you flip in the back. Again, those shots of him uh, on the beach practicing his uh, gung fu, Bruce Lee scrapbook. And this one is traditional style uh, of the uh, magazines that came out from 76 to 79, which I featured in another episode where they have these full color pictures on one side of Bruce. And then there's uh, a lot of black and whites in between. Here he is from Enter the Dragon. Again, this is just another phenomenal book. If you don't have this, let me know. I think I have two or three in my collection. And if you need it, you can uh, reach out to me at cdbrlee -E at aol.com. That's my email address. You could also find that in the description of this video below. Uh, because these are just phenomenal. Another picture of Bruce from Game of Death. Here he is chilling at home with Brandon and his wife, Linda Lee. Again, some more color shots of Bruce fighting uh, O'Hara in Enter the Dragon, which was a classic fight scene. more pictures of Bruce. Here he is in his black suit and white shirt looking cool than ever. And a couple more shots with Chuck Norris. Again, beautiful rare shot of Bruce Lee from Chinese Connection with the slick back hairdo. And as you continue to flip through, some shots of him and James Coburn. So Bruce came over to the house and that's uh, I was living over on Tower Road. And uh, it was all it was just filled with energy. Just boom, you know, just bursting with energy. And so we talked for a little bit and he said, what have you been doing here? And then I, I said, well, all I've done is that things. Yeah, but you did a lot of flicky stuff. Flicky, flicky. Not bang, nothing really. So I said, oh, really? And then he said, he said I've, got a, I've got a one inch punch that uh, is better than anything you did. And I said, really? I'd like to see that. And he said, got a pillow? And so I stood up, put a pillow in front of me and hold it, and bang, like that. Knocked me into the chair. The chair fell down. I rolled over into the corner with a one inch punch. I got up and I said, let's go to work, man. That's, that looks like fun. So we worked. Here he is with Van Williams from The Green Hornet. And I just love the way they put these books together because they had a lot of great black and white photos. And these were meant to be photo books. At the time in the 70s, everyone was looking for as many photos and pictures on Bruce Lee that they can find. And, and Kung Fu Monthly did a great job in putting out these books, which just were loaded with over hundreds of uh, unseen and unpublished photos at the time. So for those who couldn't go to photo shops and buy 8x10 glossy photos, these magazines were just the fix that you needed to get your uh, Bruce Lee uh, uh, daily fix. So another couple of nice color shots of Bruce. And as you flip through, here he is with this brown Kung Fu uniform. Some more shots. Here he is holding up his famous peace sign from Enter the Dragon. And again, just phenomenal book. Here he is with John Saxon. Some really nice behind the scenes, him chatting with John Saxon with those uh, uh, exciting yellow karate gis that they made uh, John Saxon and Jim Kelly wear in uh, Enter the Dragon. a few other pictures. Here he is with Yip Man doing some Chi Sao uh, with Han, Chinese Connection. And again, the book is just phenomenal. And here he is from Return of the Dragon. A couple of shots of his uh, passing and his funeral, uh, which was always really sad to see. Uh, here he is in the casket, which is an unbelievable color photo of Bruce. And all his movies and movie posters over here. And that's how the magazine ends. Uh, Bruce Lee scrapbook. 
Again, another must for any serious collector. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We reviewed uh, the Giant Scrapbook, which is uh, the first one that came out in 1974 out of the United Kingdom. And then we went over the Scrapbook Volume 2, both produced by Kung Fu Monthly Publishers that put out the Kung Fu Monthly magazines. Again, hope you enjoyed this. I love these magazines. Let me know if you have them in your collection. They're very rare, very sought after, very hard to find. And until next time, I want to thank you guys uh, for joining me again each and every Friday. We put these episodes out, and it's the fans and collectors like you that make these episodes really special. So for those of you who are new to the channel, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Like the video. Also, for those of you who are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And once again, Charles Damiano from the Bruce Lee Collection signing out saying, have fun collecting, guys.